If you know a little basic physiology about the spinal cord, it actually makes understanding the anatomy a little bit easier. So what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, let's orient ourselves. What we have here on the bottom of the screen is the anterior side of the spinal cord. That makes this then the posterior side. So if you're looking at this so, uh, on someone, this would be someone that's facing you, anterior, posterior, okay? What happens then is when we look at how information travels in and out of our spinal cord through our nervous system, we start here on a spinal nerve. Spinal nerve is going to come in and that information that's going to be coming in comes in the posterior side, which is why we actually call this the dorsal root, the dorsal root. In fact, this structure right here, this little bulbous area is called the dorsal root ganglion. A ganglion, of course, is a little collection of nerve cell bodies outside the central nervous system. So although this may be central nervous system, at the moment we're outside of that, technically we're in the peripheral nervous system. So this is the dorsal root ganglion. Sensory information comes in, goes through its processing phase, and then motor commands oftentimes come out. And when they come out, they come out the anterior side. We call this the ventral root. So dorsal, ventral. When you think dorsal, think of the dorsal fin of a shark on its back. When you think ventral, think the side of your body that you ventilate or breathe out of. So sensory information comes in, motor commands go out. Dorsal, ventral. Again, we have the spinal nerve, we have the dorsal root ganglion, we have the dorsal root, and that these little rootlets lead all the way into this right here. This is gray matter. This, of course, is surrounded by white matter. When we look at the gray matter here, and if you look closely on this model, this has been leveled, sort of sliced and leveled, but what we have here are different regions of the gray matter. We have what we call the posterior horn, we have the lateral horn, and we have the anterior horn. Same thing over here. Posterior gray horn, lateral gray horn, anterior gray horn. Again, you may hear the words dorsal and ventral, dorsal and ventral. Surrounding that gray matter, we have white matter. And white matter is oftentimes divided up into columns. We have the posterior white column, we have the lateral white columns, we have the anterior white columns. And what happens here, are there are a few indentations. This one up here would be the posterior median sulcus. This is the anterior median fissure. Fissure is a little bit deeper than a sulcus. And then you should be able to see running right down the middle here, because again, this has been sliced. This Everything you see on one side, of course you would see on the other. So same thing here. This is the spinal nerve. This would be the dorsal root, and specifically the dorsal root ganglion. This is the posterior gray horn, the lateral gray horn, the anterior gray horn, and then the ventral root would lead all the way out and eventually connect with that spinal nerve. So sensory in, motor out, sensory in, motor out.